Hey guys, thanks for taking the time to view this video today. I'm going to be doing a bit different kind of video than I've done before. In this video I'll be comparing how color temperature, or also known as white balance, affects the filming of fireworks. There's really only one article I've been able to find online that has any details about this and it was only still pictures and not video so I had a club shoot a couple of weekends ago now almost a month ago now and had an opportunity to test out some different color temperature settings on my new Panasonic GH4 the setup was four shells for each of the three settings I filmed at 3800, 4800, and 5800 K or Kelvin. Um, each of the four shells was the same between each group shot in the same order. I should have spaced them out a bit more, but sorry about that, I didn't. Uh, let's jump right into the first group filmed at 3800 Kelvin. Okay, now let's move on to 4800. And now let's look at 5800. Alright, well that's all well and good, we really need to pause those and take a look at them to see really the differences between the two. So what I'm going to do next is pull stills out of each and go through each series individually and compare to the other colors in the series. Unfortunately I used waves for most of these, um, which kind of drowned out some of the color on some, so hopefully I can do another test at another club shoot in the future and, and pick some different shells that capture the colors a little bit better. Um, but you'll still be able to see the difference as we progress through the color temperature scale between 38, 48, and 5800. So first off we'll start with 3800 and we'll start with the green and compare that to the 4800 green and then the 5800 was kind of the red and green shell broke at the same time, so it'll kind of be a mix there. So looking at these from the left to right here, as you see in the picture, we have the 38, 48, 5800. Um, I think you can see on the left, probably picks up the most green, even when it's broke wide, you still get quite a bit of green there. Um, but what it also does, you can see the difference in the wave, it really, really washes out the white from the wave, which may necessarily not be a bad thing for this green, but I think we'll see in some of the later ones, it, it really does look a little washed out from the color scale, so I don't think I like 3800, at least so far in this comparison. The 4800 really, again, kind of a bad break on my part that went higher than where I had the camera pointed so again I'll probably try and do more comparisons in the future. Okay moving into our second comparison here we're going to look at primarily the red shells again we'll be looking at 3800, 4800 and then 5800 and then I've put them all together on one screen. Um, again I think what we'll see at the 3800 end of the spectrum on the left in our comparison photo is that the colors again just look very washed out, very white. There's not a lot of vibrance to them. When we move on to the 4800, I think that's where we get the vibrance that I like, um, but the wave itself is still fairly white, which it should be. And when we move to the 5800, the red is still a nice red, maybe even a bit deeper red, but that's where you start to see the white from the wave, or the silver from the wave, is really, and this one is at maybe towards the end of its break, but it's really starting to turn a little bit more gold colored. Um, so again, it's always, it's an offset. I mean, you get better colors represented better at different ends of the spectrum, so it's really just about trying to find that sweet spot that, that most accurately represents the color 
of, of all the colors. Okay, coming in for the home stretch here, this is our third and final comparison. This will be on a red, white, and blue shell. Um, we'll start off with 38, move on to 48, 5800 in the stills, and then do the comparison slide. On the comparison slide, we again have left to right, 38, 48, 5800. I think again we see that the 3800 just looks a little washed out. The vibrance just is not there. The blues may show up a hair bit better than in the others. I don't think that's a, a big enough of a benefit to want to wash out your other colors like that. I find it very difficult to see any difference between the 48 and 5800. They look nearly identical to me. I think the only potential difference is maybe the white stars are starting to to move a little bit more towards either the yellow or a gold color, but really I don't think it makes much of a difference. Um, I myself I'll probably be sticking with 4800. I think that gives a, a nice representation given that earlier we saw when we moved to 5800 some of the silvers started looking more gold. Um, so 4800 I think is what I will stick with. Thanks for watching. I'm going to finish it here with just a recap of the three videos again so you can watch them back to back. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like and keep staying tuned for more videos.